Good morning guys. Today's a little bit special because it's my graduation day. So I'm graduating from UCL today um, and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna take you to London. We're not gonna celebrate the day because my parents are going to Wimbledon. So we're gonna celebrate it another day. So I'm gonna take you through. It's gonna be the same like how I'm, how I'm getting Luna for summer um, type style, but with a little bit of my graduation in there too. So I'm having some crepes with some bananas, some berries, and chocolate peanut butter protein sauce. So this recipe is from my ebook, and so my question for you guys is what recipe do you wanna see? Do you like the pancakes? Do you like the cookie dough? Do you wanna see um, something savory like the eggy crumpets? What do you guys wanna see? I'll make a full recipe video for you, and I'll also be explaining um, what the ebook is, like what you'll get out of it, and what you'll get for your money. So it is going to be really cheap. It's just a small source of income for me, um, and I've been working really hard at it. So I hope you guys like it. But I just thought it'd be nice to kind of introduce some of the recipes. Um, and yeah, this one would obviously be for free. So let me know what you guys want to see. As you can tell, getting ready with me is very, very simple. You basically tie your hair up, do the same makeup as every single day, put on the dress, and that's it, that's it. I'm not really one for like makeup because, to be honest, I'm not very good at makeup. So I just leave my face as it is, and then I just wear something. So I'm recycling this dress. Um, I wore it to a wedding a few, like maybe a few weeks ago, yeah. So yeah, I'm recycling this dress because I don't have loads of fancy dress stuff. I'm not, I'm not, I like being really comfortable. So yeah. We're just about to get our photo taken. My face is sweating so much, but let's just take a quick little selfie. My family and my grandma's in the back. She came as well. graduation and I thought I'd explain a little bit behind the story about me getting an MPhil, what it is and where I am right now. So I started my PhD in 2014 and I just come straight out of doing my Bachelor of Sciences and I was working really hard blah blah blah. Six months in I remember just kind of having a huge I won't call it a breakdown, but I call it like a realization that I was really not doing a PhD for me. I was doing it because I wanted a doctor at the start of my name. I wanted to basically make my CV look really good, but I wasn't doing any of this for myself. I was doing it to impress other people. And also I really wasn't enjoying what I was doing. So it kind of really hit home and it was scary because I had another three and a half years to go. So I had to make the decision whether I would stay or leave. And after six months, I'd done quite a lot of work already and I could either stop right there or continue for another year and get an MPhil. An MPhil is basically the degree just before a PhD. It usually takes about two years if you wanna do a standoff MPhil, like a master in research. So I knew that I didn't enjoy it. I really, really didn't enjoy it. But I also knew that I didn't want to leave empty handed because I'd come so far and I'd worked so hard. So I spent the next nine months trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do, what would, what I would find really fulfilling. And I had a feeling it would be something to do with YouTube, but I wasn't really that sure. So I kept going. And honestly guys, every single day was was horrible. I, I did, I think I went through depression for about three to four months. I would wake up at 11 and I didn't care. Every day I would cry. I hated it. But I've got to say I look back and I don't regret a single second because I was rewarded for the hard work and I feel like education is really important and it's definitely something that has helped me do what I can do now on YouTube, which is read papers, analyze papers, 
and present that in a clear way in my YouTube videos. So that's it. Um, I just wanted to share that because it did teach me a lot and I don't know, maybe some of you guys can relate. But now I'm going to go to the gym and sweat off because I have a lot of energy now. I just ate like a ton of canapes at the reception. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I'm at my favourite gym. I feel like you can probably hear that fan. So I'm at my favourite gym. I'm going to do some squats today and then followed by glutes. The squats I'm going to go as heavy as possible. And once I've done that, I'm going to do some more like functional stuff. Okay, we're doing strength today. So I'm warming up just one rep on each like progressive warm up set to not time myself out too much <laughs> Never killed a mood, always breaking rules. Hope she keep it true, keep it hate and prove. Bucks I made a few, life it changed the two. This the way I do, always showing proof. Playlist full of tunes, days I feel the blues, always feel the blue. Honey tell me, got a lot of bitches that be loving on me. Wanna be the main, yeah. always tugging on me. I got all these vices that be tugging on me. Longest prices never ever budging on me. I'm a flood the street, the trap jumping on me. So you ride for me, cause I need you shorty, make your ass corny. Go and tell them that I said that. Go back and tell them bed that. Girl, tell me what a bed that. Open up and put your head back The phone ring, I got a head back I said I loved you and I meant that And when you gave me head, I can't get left Every day I'm vibing This shit here is timeless Running out my mind as we ride Stacking mileage I'm trying to see new things Pull up in that Bruce Wayne I can make your mood change You could be my boo thing Every day I'm vibing This shit here is timeless Running out my mind as we ride Stacking mileage I'm trying to see new things Pull up in that Bruce Wayne I can make your mood change You could be my boo thing so I'm just taking a quick break from the squatting. I'm really happy with that squat session. Like Mario's given me some pointers not to like, like usually I, when I tire, I put my back down too quickly. And so as a result, it just becomes harder. And then I ended up, I end up using my back to come back up, which it should be more in the legs. So that was really helpful. Now I'm just taking a break before I go and do some functional glute burnout stuff. To touch me, take off them shoes. Whoa, ate away some razor blades. Hope this never fade away. Pop a bottle, blaze of chase it. Rose like a skater ray. Too deep at the act my age. Packed up in a blast suitcase. She take that D like she content, not getting passing grades. Whoa, whoa. whoa. All the top, peel back. Peel back. When I ride through the town. Put a high kick back. kick back. Watch the sky fall down. Oh, damn. We can take a bunch of trips. Of course, you're making more rounds. Cause you know I'm boss now. Big boss. Big boss. Every small. day. I found myself in the comfortable seat. And I'm just like, I'm not even going to Okay, so that was a really fun workout. Um, I like to do like my compound moves all at the start, so because they're the ones that take the most energy out of me, and then finish off with some like functional stuff. So yeah, that was good. I sweated loads. I did some stretching towards the end. I'm nearly getting there on the on the splits, but I think I need like another couple of weeks if I keep going every single day. And then yeah, so now we're gonna have lunch. I don't actually know what we're gonna have, but I'm sure it's gonna be nice. It reminds me of the time when we went to LA and what was it? Was it called Ralph's? I think what the shop it? that we were staying in, we were staying near Venice Beach and all of the supermarkets we went to had like loads of sushi oh, yeah. and that's really rare for us because in the UK we do that 
But Sainsbury's has started doing that. So I'm making the most of it. When it comes to counting macros on these, I mean, it's kind of impossible to get it right, but I just rather enjoy my food rather than worry. Like I've worried so much in the past before about if I'm getting the right macros in, if I'm getting the right calories in. And to be honest, the more I've let go from that, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I still eat clean, um, but the more I've let go from that, the better my, like honestly, the better my training has been. Like a lot of you ask me like, what do you do pre-workout, post-workout? I just see how it feels. If I know I've got a session coming up and I feel a bit low on energy, I'll eat something. If I feel fine on energy, I'm not gonna eat anything. And I think letting go of having like strict days where I eat more, eat less, blah, 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 has helped me so much more develop because I tailor every single meal that I have, every single thing that I do to how I feel on the day and it really varies every single day. I'm, I hope you feel the same because I always used to think that I was on my own but ever since I said I felt like I'm on my own, you guys comment and say, no, you're not on your own. So so yeah, that's, that's helped a lot. Just like letting go and just keeping things really simple and just listening to how I feel. Yeah, that's words of advice from someone with, who's not that wise. I mean, this for me has everything. It's got protein, it's got fat, it's got carbs, got some salt in here to replenish those I've lost in my workout. It's perfect, perfect. So a lot of you have been asking me whether um, I'm gonna do a meetup, and I really, really do want to do a meetup. I really wanna see so many of you. I wanna chat to you. I wanna get to know you a little bit more. Um, so I'm thinking of like doing, putting aside a date some point soon um but obviously haven't finalized anything and in like the future i was also thinking of doing like more of a like more of an interactive meetup so something where that you guys actually find it super super fun you get value out of it i spend loads of time with you kind of maybe in a gym environment um we can do like a workout you guys can ask me any questions that you have um and yeah, I was just thinking something along those lines. So let me know what you think, because I think it would be a pretty cool idea. But yeah, let me know what you think, because it would be so, so great to meet you. And doing something like more innovative, because I haven't really seen anyone do that yet. So that would be quite fun. So we're having something a bit different tonight. We're having ribs, which I haven't had for a really long time. Now I'm just finishing the day with some apricot, some chocolate cookie dough and chocolate peanut butter sauce with some cacao nibs as well. Okay guys, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope it gave you some ideas of how I'm like, leaning out for summer and that you guys liked the little graduation bit. I wanted to like bring something else into this video um, just so that it wasn't all working out and eating because I think for me like it's that's just part of my life and it just helps it aids things that I want to do but it's not my whole life so um so yeah and yeah if you liked it please give me a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button comment down below to let me know what recipes you guys want to see and I'll see you guys very soon bye